A Christian foster care agency in Kentucky says the state is forcing it to violate its religious mission. Sunrise Children's Services is a nonprofit affiliated with Kentucky Baptist. It says a clause in a new state contract would force it to match children with same-sex couples. The organization provides foster care and other services. Joining us now for more on this story is Kate Scanlon, EWTN News National and Political Affairs uh, Correspondent, that is. Kate, welcome back. Great to see you. Uh, I know you've been covering this story. What are the latest developments, and how has Sunrise Children's Services responded to that request from the state? So Sunrise Children's Services is a foster care agency in Kentucky that has a long-standing relationship there in the state with the Kentucky affiliate of the Baptist Convention. They do object to placing children with same-sex or unmarried couples, which they say has been fined through previous Republican and Democratic governors' administrations in the state. But now they're saying a new contract under Governor Andy Bashir's administration would force them to certify same-sex couples. Now the agency says they're happy to place children with other, they're happy to refer families to other agencies that will certify those families, um, but they, they can't do it themselves. And Kate, um, as you also know, we're waiting to hear from the Supreme Court on another case involving religious foster care, uh, the case Fulton versus the city of Philadelphia. For those who may not be familiar, uh, can you give us a quick overview of that case? Absolutely. So Fulton is a case concerning um, a foster care agency in Philadelphia run by Catholic Social Services um, that ran into the same problem with the city of Philadelphia after they said they wouldn't certify same-sex couples, they would refer them to other agencies. Um, the city said they wouldn't work with them anymore, and so they were forced to shut down their services in Pennsylvania's largest city. And the Supreme Court has heard that case, and we are anticipating a decision um, in that case later this month. And Kate, can you talk to us about the significance uh, of Fulton versus Philadelphia, you know, especially when it comes to religious freedom? Also, do we have any idea when the Supreme Court will make a decision on that case? So the Supreme Court typically wraps up its term in June, so we are expecting that case sometime this month, although we don't know the exact day yet. Um, that case is going to have a wide-reaching impact on the United States foster care system. There are over 8,000 religious foster care system uh, agencies in the United States, and this case impacts all of them in, in one way or another. So um, it, it will have um, wide-standing implications for agencies like Sunrise Children's Services and Catholic Social Services in Philadelphia. And Kate, before I let you go, uh, what impact could that ruling have on religious foster care agencies overall? Well, we've seen policies like this shut down religious foster care agencies in cities like San Francisco, Boston, and here in Washington, D.C. So sometimes the choice is as dramatic as operating or not for these agencies. Um, so it will be interesting to see how the court comes down on this and how it impacts the foster care system here in the United States. All right. Well, Kate, thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate you coming on. Kate Scallon, EWTN News National and Political Affairs Correspondent. Thank you again, Kate. Thanks, Tracy.